Hello and welcome back to Legends of the Dead. We survived the bubonic plague, which means we have achieved everything on our initial list of things we wanted to do. So, what have we still got to do before we can say, this series is done, we're happy, we have completely done everything we wanted to do. Well, the next thing that we need to do is we need to finish our Britannia plot. It's been going on for far too many episodes to just leave sitting there. We also need to do a War of the Holy Roman Empire, because I said we'd do a War of the Holy Roman Empire, even if they are a bit of a shell of their former selves. Then, I think we need to do a little bit of vassal management, just because um, it'll be something nice and cathartic. That'll probably be an episode of just sorting out the realm. We've got a lot of stuff which is just horrible looking, and basically uh, we could, you know, get under our vassal limit. I think that would make me happy. That would be a good thing to do. And then I think we're pretty much done. I don't really care about attacking the Deccan Empire. They've attacked us a few times, but we've beaten them without even using our men at arms, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. I don't really need to attack these guys. In fact, I'm fairly certain if we just keep the game going long enough, our vassals will in fact just take their land. So this is King Patu, who has got 13,000 versus their 4,000. So assume King Patu wins his war for the Kingdom of Gujarat. That would be... Where, where is the Kingdom of Gujarat? That's actually a good question. Where is the Kingdom of... Is, is that is that this Kingdom's real name? Uh, No, this Kingdom of Rajputana. So where's Gujarat? I thought it was around here somewhere. Uh, I could just look it up. Or what I can do is I can click in here. Ah, it's that bottom half here. So is Dio not the proper name? Ah, okay. So they're going to take everything that's part of Dio here, so all the way down there, leaving Raju uh, Putana with like three provinces. Yeah, they're pretty much done. So, yeah, I'm not really worried about over there. I think a Khan is about to be eaten as well. Yeah, defending against somebody's claim on the kingdom of a Khan, but I don't think that this person is actually. Yeah, they are not. Oh no, they are currently landed, but they're currently landed in a Khan, so. Yeah, I think that's all internal. I guess we could eat that, probably. It won't take too long if we decide to. And then over here, it's basically just Britannia and then the Tula Tula, who recently broke free from the Holy Roman Empire. Who also do not want vassalization because they are currently in a war. They're defending against Jorvik. Um, the Jorvik ancestral claim on the Holy Roman Empire? Oh, wait a second. So Jorvik is declared for the whole Holy Roman Empire. And they are currently winning. How is that how is that work in here? That just doesn't seem like that should be possible. So they lo losing every battle, they've just sieged a ton of stuff. Okay. So they're not really winning that one. Okay, and then you're what else are you in? Oh, a holy war for the Kingdom of Germany declared by Poland. Um, apparently, historically, Poland... Also, that's a huge amount of land. Historically, Poland apparently did very well against the plague due to a variety of reasons. So that could be why in-game they didn't get affected. It's like maybe historical uh, or like historical borders Poland doesn't get affected uh, as much. Now, um, they did get a bit of the, it here and here, which is why I'm saying maybe historical borders. Is that like this usually? Oh no, it's usually a little bit cleaner than... The current borders because they're all messed up although maybe Bo bohemia is usually smaller as well i don't know the, the your borders are as i said all messed although there we go there's poland yeah i think this is fine yeah so i think it was de jure poland didn't really get affected so it might just be a specific thing about their de jure land anyway um what do we want to do what's first on our list well let's have a quick look actually let's just do two months yeah, let's do two months. Let's sort everything out that way. Uh, that'll let all of the recalculations recalculate, and then we can see where we're at. Okay. Uh, Freya, King Guthrithur's daughter, is finally within my grip. However, with the right strategy, I might raise my upper hand even further. Perhaps Freya could be used to extend my influence over the king. Transaxionia. Are you the person I'm trying to currently fabricate a hook on? Uh, let's just see here. No, you're just some random get dude. So I can send you as a personal s spy. You're the key to a beautiful trap. And we kill him. Make it clear how easily I can reach him. There's a chance we get a weak hook. I spread a re 
a few rumors about how terrifying I am. So is Transaxionia part of our du jour? It is. Okay. Um, let's try and get this weak hook. Sure, let's do this. Did I get it? Did I lose dread? No. Did nothing happen? Are we waiting for an event? Ah, there we go. Hey, I got a weak hook. That is fantastic. That's exactly what we wanted. So now I have a weak hook on him. Can I press his, uh, you know, uh, votes here? Um, where are we? There, oh, it was there for a second. There we go. So it's another 18 votes. It's not huge, but it is another 18 votes to us. That's not bad. Yeah. Boost ourselves up here a little bit. By the way, I have been wondering something. Is this guy my actual heir? As in, if we weren't following elective, would he be my heir? That's something interesting to think about. Uh, so it would go us, him, uh, first alive son. Yes, yeah, so he would be our actual heir. So, there is actually a really, really easy way to fix this, right? There's a really easy way to make him our successor and to inherit everything. What we would do is we would just create the Arabian Empire, say. Destroy the Empire of Gartheriki. He would be the heir to the Arabian Empire. He would then inherit the Arabian Empire, which just happens to be everything that is currently in Gartheriki, because it would be our only empire title. Then, if we wanted to recreate this particular title, all we would do is do the same thing backwards. We would create the Empire of Gartheriki, and then we destroy Britannia and, Ara and the Arabian Empire. So there is like a really easy two-step process to doing this if we wanted to. It would mean that the things that are currently integrating would not integrate. There are reasons not to do it. Um, but yeah, if we were really, really worried about our successor, which I'm not really worried about our successor because we've kind of achieved what I want to achieve. But if we were worried about them, that's what we would do. We would just um, yeah create the title and then just destroy the, this title. It would make every vassal in this title mad at us. I think it's like minus 25 or something. I'm not entirely sure. I think it is. But if we have a look here, this person's like plus 100 with a huge number of positive things on them. So it's like, doesn't really, um, yeah, it, it wouldn't affect our opinion in this case. So that's fine. I think that's the only negative you get as well. I mean, actually, it should tell us if I try and destroy like the kingdom, right? Uh, there you go. 25 opinion for 10 years. And some legitimacy. So I assume that you would lose more legitimacy for an empire, but actually you might not. Anyway, I don't know. You don't generally destroy empires, so I don't know if those are actually doubled or anything. Uh, I can get fierce elephants for 10 years? Sure, why not? That seems good. Rightful lands. Um, I don't interfere. The end is nigh. Uh, there's a chance that somebody can be... Uh, there's a chance I can become celibate. I, oh, it's actually not even a chance. I'll just become celibate. Yeah, that seems good. It's just a free trait. I mean, we can't have children anyway, so why don't we just become celibate? Right. Uh, clear these ones out here. Um, there was something else I was going to do based on that, but I have completely forgotten, so that's fine. Reassert the holy mission? No, don't need to do that. Right. Chill. Just uh, continue going our two months. Still haven't actually let everything recalculate yet. Just, to, you know, pausing every two seconds. I think it's another 15 days and then we will have gone two months. So maybe I'll wait till March. Uh, summon the physician. There is a new fever. Oh, okay. Is it in our capital? No. Okay. Well, desperate measures are required. Okay. So we do the desperate measures, which is the same thing. Red Commission needs a worthy successor. Do we have a worthy successor? Oh, all right. Go look for a worthy successor. It's fine. We probably also need to do a um, sorting out of our courtiers as well. Uh, but anyway, we'll wait till everything's recalculated and we can see where things are now at. There we go. So we've definitely gone two months now. Let's have a little look at this election. Now we've actually gone two months. So, current state of the election. We are 
500 votes behind. Well, actually less than 500 votes behind. That's not that bad. And we got a couple on the way. In fact, three on the way in theory, so that's not bad. Here, we're first. Kingdom of Garthriki, we're first. Kingdom of Estonia, we are not first. Okay, when you think about that. Romania, we're not first anymore because um, the huge amount of negative popular opinion is starting to wear off on everywhere. Uh, but we are still ahead of Thessalonica. Okay, and then Yaldum of per Perm were ahead because we have all the votes here, effectively. There's nobody else has votes, so it's fine. Cool. Uh, let's maybe sort out our courtiers. Let's do that next. I see Direct Vassal's not my religion. It's a good one to start with. Uh, so I'm going to send you a gift on the assumption that you're not going to convert. Then ask him. He will convert. Wonderful. Next person, we're going to send him a gift. And ask that they convert. Uh, we could probably send them something else. I'm going to gift you an artifact. I'm going to gift you... Where are we? One of our books. Spiritual Triumph of uh, Bukanusko. There we go. Now you'll convert. Wonderful. And then the next one is your event. You will convert no matter what, I think, because uh, we have a hook. There we go. Wonderful. Just wait for those three to go through. Never, you know, it feels like it wants to uh, have those go through. Perfect. Right, so they've now all converted. Now we're going to do uh, vassals uh, sort of by rank, and then we're going to get all the dukes converted. Wow, we have a bunch of dukes that are not converted right now. What happened? We were down to, like, only 43 characters. Oh, was that before we declared all the wars? It's probably before we declared, like, the huge number of wars that would have changed that. Yeah, you know what? That makes sense. Now, now, now that I've said it out loud, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, let's convert all these people. Also, there may have been revolts, there may have been all sorts of things that happened, and... These might not be the people who were in charge when we previously looked at it, and so on and so forth. It's fine. Uh, just keep giving away money. And then converting people. I was only 90%, but I'm not that worried. I'm not worried about the, the ones that aren't my direct vassals, really, as much as I... Oh, I don't know why I just closed that. As much as I'm worried about the ones that are my direct vassals. So... Right, uh, keep sending these conversion requests. And we'll send another gift. Do another conversion. Ooh, wow, you really don't want to convert. Oh well, not a lot I can do about that really. You already like me pretty much as much as you're ever going to like me, so... That's fine. The nice thing is, even if they say no to the conversion request, at least they like me a lot more then, so they're less likely to act against me. Because I've sent them a gift. So, that's fine. Send gift. Ask to convert. Right, keep him down here. Send gift. Ask, ask to convert. I'm a little too quick on pressing the next button. Uh, we haven't got that many more. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll just use a hook on you, actually. Because that's easy. Um, then send gift, ask that you convert. Yeah, see, I have noticed there are a lot of ones from Ireland, so they might also... Yeah, this is probably... I just never did this after we declared war. That's because we went immediately into the Black Death. Yes, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, okay. Cool. Keep sending these. Only got two more left, and then we will have a mass amount of conversion. Send the gift. Demand conversion. And then the last one on the list is this person. Send a gift. And demand that they convert. Wonderful. Right. Now we'll chill. It's also interesting to see whether the results of the... Um, yeah, the, whether the results of our election are affected by this or not. Because I did see one that... Uh, was suggesting that they were in Poland, which would suggest that they were uh, would be allowed to vote. Let me see. Actually, where are they? Yeah, yeah. So they would be allowed to vote. So it could be that actually um, by converting that person, we're uh, 
you know, make your life easier. Don't know. Or they may be going for someone else. Uh, they may vote for someone else to make her life harder. Possibly. Anyway. Keep chilling. Just waiting for the last couple to come through. Or did they say no and I just clicked it away? They must have said no and I, did, I never asked you to convert, apparently. Okay, maybe you, I'd never asked this one to convert and the other one said no. Okay. Let's see. Wonderful. Right. With that done, uh, let's now have a little look in here. So you've still said no, that's absolutely fine. Next, we're gonna move to unmarried courtiers. Uh, and then we're just gonna get rid of anyone who we don't need. If anyone is bad, like this person, we're gonna do a marriage for them first. So find spouse. We are looking for a uh, ruler. And then we're also looking for... Actually, that's it. That's just it. Ruler. Yeah, you're going to marry that person. Next one. That is her sister, who is also not good enough to be in our court. Find you somebody to marry. Non-matrilineally. Okay. Next, Ilva. Also not good enough to be in our court. Let's get you out of here. Cool. Then we have you, who is also not good enough to be in our court. We'll also similarly get you out of here. Next, you're good enough. Uh, you're my man. You're good enough. Basically look at it and going, if they can be a champion, even if they're not currently one, then they are good enough. Otherwise they're not. Like, this person isn't. If a sibling, the sibling is just some random, okay. And then you're my tax collector. Yeah, so you're the last person I want to get rid of here. Let's find you a spouse. And get rid of you. Checking your mother. Your mother is wandering. That's fine. All right. Marry you off. We'll let those go through. Should lower our list of uh, people who we need to actually uh, marry off quite significantly. Yo. A few more. Or is that it? That might be it. Okay. That seems a lot better. So now, can't find you a spouse anyway. Uh, now we want to go in here. We want to reset this back to our original one. So we want to say not a ruler and inheritable traits. And then just work our way down through the list. Uh, maybe I'll start looking for prowess. Getting people in here. Although I don't really want you... You know what we're going to say as well, just for now, uh, Dynasty is not Oster. There we go. Wonderful. So you two can marry. Next, we're going to ma- oh, you're my concubine, that's fine. I'm going to marry you off. Marry that person. Next, you. Fine spouse. It's going to marry you in here. Uh, so that was you. Now we're going for this one. Find spouse. Again, just marry them off. Next one is my concubine. My concubine. <laughs> okay. You are the next one that can marry. I don't care that it says that there's a low chance of marriage. That's not really why I'm doing the marriages. Right, if they get children, that's fine, but... I'm more just thinking that I want more people in my court who could be useful. Uh, let's go in here. The reason why I'm going for prowess is because I think that we are not that far away uh, from something useful with that. Let me have a look here. Prowess will get uh, you to marry. Cool. Because I think that we are... Yeah, we're only four years away from having martial custom turn to equal. Which means that um, all of these people will be fantastic champions in about four years. Right, isolate capsule? Probably not. Nope. Okay. That's fine. Uh, do I have a legend? No. We could start doing one, but we're, we're currently a little low on income. 
mean, that's fine being low on income, but I would like to sort that if we're going to do anything. But let's just let these go through first. Aha! I become friends with King uh, Bajin. I think. Uh, anyway, that's fine. Get these marriages sorted. I think one of them said, I don't know why anyone would want to marry this fool. That's just so mean. Anyway, it's fine. I can appoint a worthy successor. Do I have one? I do. Alright, I don't need to find a worthy successor then. Wonderful. That's fine. Next step. So, should be the same search. So, we have you. We can't marry. Did I not find you somebody to marry? Oh no, you're, you're my man. You're my man. You. Did I not find you somebody to marry? Prowess? Like this person? Sure. Right. And then everybody else. You're my man. You're a guest. Okay. Cool. That seems fine. And perfect. Right. That should be that sorted. I don't know why it takes so long for that list to appear. Anyway. So now we want to do courtiers, and we want to do courtiers who are not my religion. Just convert them while we're here. As well keep our court, uh, yeah, full of people who are my religion. Then we're going to change this back to all. We're going to go to children. We're going to do the children search. We're going to make sure that they all have guardians. So... No guardian for you. Uh, search, we're just going to make sure that these are geniuses. Yeah, there we go. We'll just choose the best person available. That's fine. Unlikely to convert um, culture on that person, but this is unlikely not impossible, is what I'm going to say to that. Uh, right. Next. We have you. I suspect nobody has a guardian, judging by uh, the way it's currently going. It's fine. Next. We have you. We also need a guardian. I don't know why it doesn't set guardians for people. I don't know. Maybe maybe there's a reason. Um. Yeah, you would think it would just give it would assign random guardians, but I guess it's probably so that you don't have a bunch of people. I don't know. It's probably because it has to be a like an actual person. It doesn't want you having uh, your courtiers randomly educating people. I don't know. Uh, but it would be nice if like the default was it, like your guardian is your court tutor and it uses that for your stats. I think that would be better. So then you don't have to do this. You can say like I specifically want this person educated by someone else, or. I want, um, or I'll, I'm happy letting the court tutor do it. Why is there only one eligible? Are you the only eligible uh, genius left? Okay. Um, that's fine. But yeah, it would be nice if there was something like that. Yeah, you're just literally the only eligible person left. Okay. And now we're down to, uh, and yeah, now we're down to you, who is not getting a full education. The same ways that everyone else is. We're not an eligible genius because I don't want to do it. So, see here, I guess you can educate them. That's fine. Cool. Right. Everyone's now got educators. These two converted. Wonderful. Right, how's our election looking? We need to become friends with somebody. Uh, again. We are still just slightly off of, uh, five, we're slightly below 500. 34. Okay, I am going to... Uh, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pick a, one of the elections that was closer. And just see if we've got anybody in these ones that would vote. It's not you. Ah, like this guy. This guy, if I can make him my friend, I think that's more beneficial. That, that'll fix that entire, um... Yeah, that'll fix that entire uh, vote election. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Right. 
still above our vassal limit. That is absolutely fine. A new flame. Uh, well, no, I don't think we need to do that. Also, I love that we get a traction bonus, but that doesn't matter at our age. But yet the event was still saying, at our age, how could we look for someone new? It's like, um, it doesn't make a lot of sense. This guy arrived, random courtier arrived with a wife. I mean, that's fine. Cancer? Well, that's not good. Um, too late for caution. We're now one-eyed, but we no longer have cancer. Oh no, we've greatly reduced disease symptoms. We're one-legged. Oh, we're one-legged. Never mind, not one-eyed. Or are we one-eyed and one-legged? Uh. Okay. I actually will not show. We have too many traits to show. But we are f feeling okay-ish, given that. Yeah, oh, but we do still have cancer. Yeah, that's not ideal. Okay. Well, hopefully this uh, hoot gets us where we need to go. Because we're not going to have too many more of them. Map. Uh, that's fine. Somebody's mapping my uh, court. This will get us a hook on this person. Right. That's fine. Let us go into the empire. Find that person somewhere in the list. It's doing very quick scan on the off chance I can find him quickly. Oh, I saw it. There we go. That actually worked. Wonderful. So you're now voting for us. Which means we are now a little bit closer. <laughs> we only need another 300 votes. Okay, well. Who am I trying to imprison? Queen Anastasia. Okay, so that's going to be 134 votes. Which is effectively 268 votes because... They will lose equivalent numbers of votes. Uh, add down the list a little bit here. Yes, perfect. You, I, will fabricate a hook on you. Wonderful. Right. <laughs> Carrying on. You're getting there one step at a time. Getting a little closer. Uh, you're helping support our schemes. Can you be fire jet? No. Can you be fire jet? No. Okay. Can you be replaced by somebody better? Yeah. Okay. And do you know what's even better? You can convert somewhere for me as well. Like that place. Perfect. Okay. We're getting there. So now we need to get this uh, abduction uh, one sorted. That'll get us very, very, very close. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what's the chance? 85 or... Oh, no, it's like no chance. I forgot. Yeah, it's like four, 46. It's just rolling a dice, effectively. Yes, yeah, so that's no way guaranteed. Oh, well. We'll see. We'll see. Um... Might be better off just trying to fabricate a flame on her in a second. We want to stop being rivals? Sure. We're not in a feud, are we? I mean, he's my claim knight. We shouldn't be in a feud. Scheme discovered. Okay. Still at 90%, and there's no penalty to it being discovered, so it's fine. 46% chance I uh, imprison them? Sure. Uh, they confessed and uh, gave up my involvement in the plot. No. Oh, we lost. 20 opinion. Uh, okay, I'm going to find some other way of dealing with her. So we're going to go back into the election. We're just going to have a quick look and see whether we can... Uh... Oh, you actually got more people? Wait. <laughs> no, I think I converted somebody else with this hat on. But I was like, wait a second. Did we not just get you to vote for us? But anyway... We got any uh, prisoners? We got prisoners we can get in here. Queen Nazi of Pomerania? Now, Na is Pomerania part of our realm? Nope. Not for another 19 years. Well, that's not going to work. Queen Ying II of Amdo? Well, that's not within our realm. Emma? I get the feeling Emma isn't within our 
De Jure Realm, but let's see. Nope, that's not within our De Jure Realm. Sicily, no. Aval? Aval? No. Svendorak? Nope. Uh... See, I should double check Svendorak. Let me just see. Nope, that was a definite no. Vigdis of Aruzi, we've just looked at. Sebast. Sebast. It's in there. That is du jour. Oh, wait, that's where he is. Where's his land? Yeah, it is here. Okay. You, my friend, are going to be imprisoned. 100% success chance. Don't you love to see it? Right. Wonderful. We are then going to release him for a hook. Wonderful. So we're like to see. My nemesis and rival of Zetsu. Zetsu, are you part of my realm? Or my de jure realm? No. Because that's it there. Yeah, still part of uh, uh, of Tart Tartaria. Okay, that's fine. Britta? Ruthenia sounds like it's part of our one. Uh, it sounds so familiar that of being part of our Azure realm that I'm like, wait a second, have we already had a hook on Britta? Maybe not. Yeah, I should definitely like use this and go to their realm as well because they're in all sorts of places. I don't know if Ruthenia is already voting for us. Well, let's raise some troops and go after them. What wars are you in? Defending against the war against the tyranny, that's fine. Defending against uh, a war for a claim on the kingdom of Ruthenia. Huh. Oh well, I'm still going to try and get your votes. Wait, is that your capital over here? You moved your capital over here? You absolute crazy person. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, I know why they moved their capital over there. Well, I don't. I guess I I have theories. They probably moved it because they inherited the land while they held land over there. The other choice is that they moved their land over there. If they were a player, I'd say moved it over there so they could um, have their capital sieged. But I don't think that's the case here. But, um, anyway. Uh, yeah, I think they inherited some land over there. Try to find this guy. I'm assuming he's allowed a vote because he holds a title. Although it did say barony, right? So maybe is he? Oh wait, no, it said barony. He probably doesn't have a vote. Yeah, being stupid. So he holds his barony, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually, no, he doesn't even have a vote. Oh well, that's fine. Let's uh, go. Your troop going. Britta now speaks Arabic. That probably means that Britta only just inherited. Yeah, yeah. So, um, in prison. She's going to say no. That's fine. Oz. We died! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Empress Ethel II of Gartheriki has finally found peace at 72 years of age. She drank herself to death. A zealous woman, she fought for the glory of Uko against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars of recent history. Emperor Vishakut ascends to the throne. Having led holy warriors against the infidels, Vishakut's name is truly beloved in the eyes of Uko. Well, that is horrible. That is god awful. Also, like. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Something has gone horribly wrong. How did that happen? Well, he inherited the king. So I guess we inherited what was Dejurgarth Ariki and he inherited the kingdom? Oh no. <laughs> so we're the emperor of Garth Ariki, but he holds the kingdom. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's a that's a twist. Definitely a twist. It's not one I'm uh, particularly uh, psyched about, but okay. Also means that our land is messed up. We have Rome, and that's about it. 
I mean, obviously, like, given that we don't have Novgorod, our capital is Rome. I mean, that just makes, like, an absurd amount of set. Wait, is it already my capital? County capital. Why can I not move the realm capital? I cannot change it while at war. A war, in this, uh, war against the tyranny, but I'm also at war with Sweden. Okay. This is messed up. Okay. Uh, well, um, what, what things can I vote in? Let's just have a look. I can only vote in the Empire and the Kingdom War. <laughs> or the Empire and the Kingdom vote. So, I'm going to vote for you, my player heir and nephew. I am also going to vote for... Uh, let me just find him here. Got uh, 21 learning. 21 learning. I'm going to vote for him here. Okay. So he is now number one in both votes. However, oh, we're the wait. Are we the only per? Oh, we're the only person who gets to vote in the kingdom of Romania because we're the only person who holds land in the kingdom of Romania. <laughs> that is crazy. And the Empire of Gartheriki, uh, many people get to vote, but actually not as many as used to. Look at that. There's a much smaller list of people. I just so few people get to vote. That's crazy. Oh, is it because they're in my lands or something? I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll take a Marshall perk. Well, I don't know. What do I, I guess maybe I want intrigue to try and push up our intrigue so we can get people to vote for who we want to vote. I am not sure. <laughs> uh, let's do... Well, what's my natural dread? Natural dread is plus 35. Yeah, I guess I'll go for that. That seems good. Inherited a bunch of stuff. Has it kept what I had on? It has. Okay. That's fine. Prize necklace seems good. Let's replace that with the prize necklace. This is fine. This one we will replace with the architecture of trade. Uh, Oster regalia. Versus Magnificent Regalia. It's fine. This one, the Brutal Prize Spear of the he of the Hero of Pain. Or Brutal Prize Spear of Pain of the Hero. We'll destroy that one. We'll destroy that one. Crown, Crown is fine. Okay. Next step, Royal Court. It hasn't kept what I had equipped. That's uh. Wait, it has kept what I have equipped, but I no longer have the Oster stuff. Oh no. Uh, okay. Uh, have I got anything in here that's good? Like, yeah, probably that seems pretty swell. Okay. Uh, these ones I think are the same. That's the same. No longer need this, I guess, because I don't need to raise our... Um, yeah, I don't really need to raise our vassal limit because we have no vassals. Um, okay. Things I've taken a turn for the strange. Uh, yeah, I guess a good Norse manual. I was kind of looking for something that... Oh, I'd want to raise my vassal limit by six. I could have been making an extra hundred gold a month. But actually, he might have had that. I might not have had that. Okay, um, let's take this. That gives me four prowess, I guess. And there's our magnificent chest. Look how magnificent it is. Right. Event. Uh, sure, have some funds. That's okay. I'm going to hold court. Yeah, let's not worry about that yet. <laughs> let's worry about some other things first. Steward. Uh, I'm just seeing if we've got anybody who's really good. You're really good in that job. Spy Master? Yeah, you're pretty good in that job. Uh, yeah, you're actually pretty good here. And then on this one... Wait, we, we don't hold Byzantium, so that's going to get invalidated. Anyway, on this one... Uh... I guess you're okay enough. I don't really need to... 
do very much with you right now. You're probably going to go into that instead because I don't currently have Byzantium. Uh, there's nothing to convert. Every single bit of land we have is converted. Okay. Uh, could I press for all of these things? Your armies are right. Yeah, because I need to finish this war. Okay. I could maybe press for everything that we didn't... Yeah. I can press for all the things we didn't inherit, I guess. I no longer even need this war. It's just annoying. Shadow of Fame Twilight. Okay, whoa, whoa, pause, pause, pause. Game. Give me the pause thing at the top. There we go. We are ambitious, humble, and compassionate. That means we do not have a quick way to... Uh, what? Okay, I was going to say we do not have a quick way to uh, lower our stress. However, I am not humble, apparently. I lose humble for... A reason. I guess if you're humble and this event pops up, you just lose humble. Okay, and I get Shadow of Fame Twilight. Alright, well, I'm no longer humble. I'm now arrogant. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Realm will lose land if vassals die. No, it will not. These recalculate based on the assumption that these guys are not within my realm. Okay. That's fine. Disabled buildings will not be disabled at the end of this, because I already have enough stewardship to hold them. House is feuding. Realm will lose land if somebody inherits some things. You can station your men-at-arms. I also have one more men-at-arms. Which one is extra? I don't know. I don't think there is extra. I think I just had something that raised it by one. Okay. Um, these guys are unstationed. There is nowhere to station them. Wonderful. Also, my max is 13. Oh, that's because my things are messed up. Any inactive accolades? I didn't get to keep any of the ac- I got to keep the red commission. Champion of Conquest, Knight's Knight, House Dagger. Okay, actually, that's not too bad. I did lose one somewhere. First among advisors? Was it apparently an archery one? Sure. Raffle? You're my first among advisors? How do I, um, raise you to a full one? Oh, I just don't have enough. I see. Because my culture, my culture isn't, my, my culture isn't even late Norse. What? Why were they voting for this person? Anyway. Uh, I'll lead. Feud, carrying the torch. No, I don't want the feud. Thank you. Clear that out. Let's get our army over here. Cool. Your new heir is Prince Lito. Prince Lito of Britannia, the brother of, I'm assuming the brother of this guy, right? Yep. And they'd rather vote for his brother than for him. That's not good. Anyway, carrying on. Being the rival, they hate you. All right, thanks. I mean, I've been in power for two seconds. There we go. Please switch to this. Okay, cool. Uh, sure, let's be friends. Random count. I need uh, all the friends I can get, apparently. Okay. It, the, the game, to be fair, it is a little slow, but it is calculating things right now. Many, 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 many things. <laughs> Mainly to do with, oh my god, all this land just went underneath somebody else. How do I calculate that? Also, I love how we just lost Novgorod. <laughs> I know why. We lost it because we lost the, oh, because we won the election for our guy, but it's like, we've had that for many, many years. Crazy. Anyway. A claim on Tula? I don't really care if somebody has a claim on me. It's not that big a deal. I also don't care about that mercenary company uh, going away. It's not a huge deal either. Right. Let's find Mighty Borhide. We will repair that. And siege. Try to think how I get the rest of Britannia back. I don't think I even have a claim on it. 
right? Because I would have a claim on the kingdom, but the kingdom would only give me the du jour. It's weird that the land doesn't go with the empire, it goes with the kingdom. Right? You would assume that the land would go with the empire, not the kingdom. Yeah, you would assume land goes with highest title and du jour land goes with the title that you got the du jour land with, but... That's actually not the way it worked. Actually, no, look at that. Yeah, yeah, so we got the empire du jour. We just didn't get anything outside of the du jour empire, but somehow... The rest of it went... Did the rest of it go with him because it's primogenitor? Maybe the rest of it went with him because it's primogenitor? And nobody specifically inherited it? I don't know. Maybe. But no, that can't be right. No, because it wouldn't have gone primogenitor in most situations. By the way, I'm just going to gain like a ton of stress for no reason. <laughs> okay, our character is now at level 3 stress. Also did not get a mental break. Oh, my, no, my stress went too high. I did get a mental break now. Oh, my friend died. No, so I didn't get a mental break for hitting 3 stress, which means that we had already had a mental break for 3 stress. This is us getting another mental break. Do I want to be rakish and lose a level of fame? I'll let them all burn. This will be rakish, managed urban fires. Yeah, sure. Lost uh, about 180 gold a month for that. Okay. Well, this is the negative of elective that we're now seeing. We haven't seen it for the rest of the campaign. Uh, which is that if your chosen heir doesn't get elected, things go uh, horribly, horribly wrong. That's okay. We have a new challenge. Get back in charge. And I hope that the realm has not fallen apart by the time that happens. Hey, I have a son. Uh, okay. Cool. I almost want to... I, I, I know people don't like it. I almost want a white piece, because I don't really want to be in this war anymore. It, like, this war was useful for my previous character. Let's... <laughs> I ain't stress for white piecing. Oh well. Uh, I'll take it. I still don't want to be in this war. Because I want to go end the Sweden war and I want to convert our culture back. Why do I want to convert our culture back? Well, I'm glad you asked. The reason I want to convert my culture back is so I can have all the benefits of my culture instead of the benefits of this culture, which are none. Because this culture doesn't even have all the tech. Look at all this tech that this culture just doesn't have. Right? Like, we need to get out of it as soon as possible. <laughs> Okay. Let's let's get those done. Oh, I also lost uh, control in Rome. Well, let's raise some control in Rome as well. That'll hopefully help us. Right. I got some more things. What did I get? Cheap tapestry. Destroy. Where are we? There we are. Uh, we're also moving slowly because um, we don't have as all the bonuses we previously had. So we had a ton of bonuses to army movement speed. However, those were on all of our holdings, which we no longer own. Which is a bit of a uh, negative, I would say. <laughs> I mean, I guess what we should do is probably try and war for our own land back. But yeah, that's going to be a big war. Okay. These sieges are not that bad because we do still have siege units. Uh, even if they're above our current tech level. Okay. You want a white piece? Yes. Wonderful. By enforced demands, I get 400 gold. I think white piecing is very valuable at that point. Also, I can now destroy that thing, uh, although it's in our royal court. There we go. White piece with Sweden. Right, pause. Disband our army. Go to Rome. Do we have an, a thing here, by the way? Repay loan? Oh, okay, anyway. Capital is going to be Rome. Awesome. Right, uh, repay loan. Sure. I don't know how much I needed to... I don't know how much I needed to repay there, but I've repaid it. Trade. We have increased our prowess. Wonderful. Okay. And now that our cult 
now that we're in roll, we should be able to... Where is it? Uh, convert to local culture. Yes. So that now converts us to local culture. We now have an extra domain limit. And this should look less bad. This does indeed look less bad. Uh, I am not able to raise an... Yeah, there we go. Reinstate accolade. Cool. Uh, that looks fine. Okay. Right. You need a successor to this accolade. Okay. 18 bisk. 18 uh, bisk. There we go. Wonderful. That's not too bad. Prisoners can be ransomed. We'll do a little ransom. We got our land back. Well, we haven't got all, all of our land back, but we... Oh, sorry. We've got our... Um, land was the wrong word. We, we are now able to hold on to everything that we have um, properly. Like, we've got the uh, right number of men-at-arms. we got all of our bonuses back. This is good. This is disabled because the holder of faith must consider it a holy site. That's fine. Yeah, we already knew that was a disabled building. That's okay. Uh, I can't have any of these ones. Do I hold anything else that I can take? Uh, I already hold all of this. That is a completely unupgraded castle. It must have just literally finished building or something. That is nuts at this point in the game. I mean, this is pretty bad as well, but let's not worry about that. Uh, these are all ours. These are all unupgraded buildings. Okay. Um, yeah, so these are basically worthless. That's fine. Celebrate other cultures. Uh, the bonus is nice, isn't it? Yeah, I'll take it for now. That's fine. Clear that. Right, we could search for a wet nurse. Do I have a wet nurse? That's probably something we need to put in. Yeah, we have one. That's fine. Okay, so. Current situation. We have lost Gartheriki as an empire. We have Gartheriki as a kingdom. Britannia currently controls everything. Election-wise, Roma Romania, we get to choose who wins because we're literally the only people who get to vote. Cool. Because rulers and vassals can vote, and we are the only ruler or vassal. Next one. Rulers and vassals can vote for this. It looks like that's repopulated some of the list, although it's still a little bit sh Oh, wait, no. This one. It still feels shorter than it was. I don't know. But I guess it's because all these people don't get to vote. And they were all de jour. Okay. So who are you guys voting for? So you're all voting for Lito. For the Empire. Why are you not voting for him? He's an encroaching foreign ruler, but the other person is his brother. Okay, how many votes do I need to get? I need to get to 900, and there are people with like 190. I have no way getting anything off of you currently, as in I cannot um, think of the right way of putting it. I cannot currently uh, fabricate a hook. I could just imprison them. It will cause me stress, which will be enough to get us a mental break. But we need to level three, and we've already been at level three. All right, let's go. In prison. I love how it's like, Justice, she's now imprisoned. Not really Justice, is it? All right, let's gain a weak hook. Let her go. I gained a favor hook. Nice, thank you for the money. I really need it. Uh, okay, so now... I'm going to find the person on the list. I don't think that was the person I got the hook with, but that's okay. Eight votes is eight votes. Can't complain. Uh, this person is currently voting for them, so they must be an eligible person... To vote. Wait, okay, so. 
Footing. You. Oh, you didn't accept it yet. <laughs> that was the... I thought the weak cook thing that popped up at the top was her, but that was someone else. That was just another random person. Okay. That's fine. Which means, actually, it must have been a hook from somebody I let out of my prison just then. That's, uh... Unexpected. Right. So. Now, he's moving up in the votes. He's at 166. We don't actually get any votes. So, it's all a matter of just trying to find people that we can, uh... Co-opt. So you're currently my rival and my vassal. Uh, there's a 2% chance they accept a fight. I don't think that's what we want to do. We could imprison them. All subjects will hate me and I won't imprison them. Yeah, have we got any pr cr criminals I didn't know about previously? Ruthania is a criminal. I could imprison them. They do have a vote, right? Yeah, they probably have a vote. Well, I'm assuming Ruthenia are eligible to vote right now. Are Ruthenia, el they must be, yeah. So I do want to imprison them. 30%. Yeah, okay, so now I want to go back to War of Ruthenia. Luckily, there's no truce because... Um, I want to raise my troops here. Uh, there is no truce because this is not us declaring war on her. This is her declaring war on us. That's fine. You want to pay a ransom? I'm going to decline, actually. Let me see who I've got imprisoned by rank. Amfrither of Chernigov? Hey, you. Give me a hook. A mighty pen. I increased my marshal. Okay. Cool. Right. I've gained a favor hook. Wonderful. So now what we can do is we can use this favor hook. Get another set of votes. There we go. That's another 43 votes. Are we in the top four yet? No. <laughs> All right, then. Raise our troops. Luckily, we get to keep as many men-at-arms as we had previously. They're not as buffed as they were previously, but we get to have them, which is good. Pay ransom. Sure. Although, actually, what I should have done is I should look in here and I should see, can I get a hook on... So I get a hook on Malmfrither. So that's not that useful, but I will take it anyway. You. It would also be a hook on Malmfrither. Okay, stay in my prison for now. The first hook is fine. Uh, I don't need another one. So actually, I kind of want to, like, siege some land of some of my other vassals here then. Okay. 30%. We still gain stress for doing this, but that's fine. Or just start marching already. Span. Why did I click to span? Luckily, I didn't actually go through. I was just like... There's a button to click. Click it. <laughs> okay. Uh, go. I'm moving in here. This is fine. Offer concubine. Uh. What? There's so much written on the screen about her not being a concu- Not eligible to being a concubine, but would become a concubine. Let's not worry about it. Let's just say no. Right, head over here. Keep trying to capture people who are, uh... Yeah, gonna get us hooks. Never thought about trying to siege the land of the people underneath. So I could then get hooks on them. Which I could then use. Because they also get their own independent vote. So I never have to declare war on them. I can just get these hooks. Okay. Are we, uh, we're not head of our dynasty, right? Also? Oh, we are. Oh. Or at least we're house head. Oh, interesting. Did we capture anyone else here? Sort by time in prison. Yeah, we just caught this person. Perrin is landed. No, that's Chernigov. We'd have to do that one. Okay. So I can't get their parent to pay for it because they're not their parents. Okay, that's fine. Leash is Sweden. 
that you wouldn't pay. Okay, that's fine. Thought I'd have a look. See what we could get. Okay. Wait, that, why did that say Empress of Britannia? Wait. Yeah. Emperor... Oh no, that didn't say Empress. Okay. It said Emperor. Defending in an independence war, which you're losing. And in a decan de jour war. Who's in your independence war? I, I, don't make me mad. I, I am a little mad. Am I going to have to join his independence war so I can try and hold his land, which is my land, together? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, I captured the Jarl of Pinsk. Wonderful. Uh, gain a weak hook. I'm sorry, I, you need to be imprisoned. Ethla comes of age, my daughter. Fantastic. Keep going. Come yeah, on, unpause. Whenever you want to, unpause. Keep going. Screen down here. Date is not moving. Probably a lot of things it's working out with the warps uh, that are on, but... There we go. Okay. Uh, do I want you two to marry? That's fine, i probably set it up. Okay, cool. Um, right. Empire. Seeing where this person is in terms of being able to force votes. Uh, there we go, it's another 20 votes. We're getting there. Are we in the top four? Nope. <laughs> Oh, I'm still trying. Uh, this is a new vassal? It is. It's Turov. Okay. Right. Keep trying to get people here. And head to the next place. Five days left. Next one. Aha! We have got you. I am going to gain a weak hook on you. Friend. Wonderful. That will now let us, once again, get a few more votes. There we go. I was waiting until I saw some gaps, because I assumed that he would probably be uh, in roughly the same section. So it's another eight votes. Okay. At least we're gathering up support. We're increasing the number of people. Even if it's not by that much. Uh, there's your capital. Okay, that's the next place we need to go. Lords our stress. Uh, I kind of feel like we we're going to want to raise our stress at some point, but let's not worry about that. Mainly because I think we're going to want to raise our stress to uh, move on from this character at some point, but we'll see. Five days left. Kipchak has declared upon me. Kipchak, now really is not the time. Right, enforced demands. We, we imprisoned Britta. Okay, you've increased control in Rome. What did Kipchak declare for? The Kingdom of Kipchak. You're so far away. Okay, anyway. Um, I guess you're going to Kipchak. Which is apparently here. Go. Right. Back over this way. In artifact claims. Oh, oh, pause, 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 pause. New person in charge of Britannia? Yes. He died from stress, which now means he needs Furker to be my heir. I'm the new cultural head of the late Norse culture. Okay. Uh, could people please vote for Sverker? Um, he, he's probably not very popular. He's 12. Got 15 Marshall. He's going to be a much better character than his father. That's fine. 15 Marshall. 15 Marshall Sverker. 15 Marshall. He is not eligible to be voted for. For the Empire of Gartheriki. Why is he not eligible? Is he too far away from me to be eligible? 
Yes, because you are my nephew, so you're not... So, in other words, you're not related to me. So, really, I need your uncle, who is... I need Little to inherit now. Okay, so Little needs to inherit. Okay. Uh, Little is 21 stewardship. 21 stewardship for Little. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Kingdom. Do, do the actual right vote. There we go. Oh, he's not eligible. Oh, no, there we go. He is, he is eligible. Okay. So now what I want to do is something that make, that stresses me out. <laughs> what stresses me out? I mean, trying to imprison people stresses me out. Or, on the other hand, wait a second. Do we? Alright, next character. Let's go. Are we going to kill ourselves? Uh, high building. And... Um, my attempt succeeds. Let's try it. My plans were foiled. Somebody foiled my plans. How, how long till I connect to it? Five years? Okay. Um, well, now I'm going to have to stress myself out. Right, let's go in here. Let's imprison some people. That's only 24. I need something more. I'm compassionate. If I execute people... Oh, one, first of all. Let's see. Give me your hook before we do this. Wonderful. Thank you, Britta. Britta, um... I'm going to need you to vote for my candidate, if that's alright with you. You only have seven votes now? Okay. Well. Wonderful. Right. Execute. We'll do a public beheading. Okay. Give me more stress. Uh... Let them all burn sounds bad. Let's do this. I'm gonna keep trying to raise our stress level till we get an event which is just the instant death. Yeah, so now we're gonna behead you. Which then did not give me enough stress. You're a member of my, ki my dynasty, so we're not gonna kill you. Kill this one. This now resets my stress level. Wait, or do I need to kill one more? Like you? There we go. That resets my stress level. And now... Huh. Same event, huh? Okay, uh, we could do it again, I suppose. I am running out of prisoners, though. Who are not members of my dynasty. Uh... There we go. Burying the hatchet. You want us to stop being rivals? Why? Did my murdering of people convince you that potentially I'm not a uh, person to have as a rival? I need lover's pox? Okay. We shall, once again, try this again. I need to find somebody else to uh, execute, so we're going to execute this person. Let's try it again. That's it, I abdicate? Yes! Wonderful! I abdicated. I'm now um, little again. Well, I'm little for the first time. Okay, have three or more virtuous traits, Paragon of Virtue, the first time I've ever done that. At least on a, not on a, on an Iron Man, not an Iron Man save, or on, on an achievements um, allowed save. Okay. Wait, he holds perm. He got perm. We got some of our land back. You got perm. Wait, do we have the lower title? No, we can grab that. Thank you. Uh, revoke title. That is amazing. So now we have perm. And we have Rome. Okay. We're going up in the world. So now... 
Also, are we late Norse? We are. Wait, we don't have three virtuous traits. We only have two virtuous traits. Oh wait, no, is one of these virtuous? Uh... Oh yeah, witch is virtuous. There you go. Three virtuous traits. How did I not already have that? Anyway. So now we can, in theory... Now we get to throw, vote in three elections. I vote for... Well, I have to vote for my grandson, right? My grandson uh, currently has 15 Marshall. Not grandson, nephew. So our nephew has 15 Marshall. So let's find him here. He's got to be eligible, right? Yep. He's eligible because he's my nephew. That's why he wasn't eligible previously. He wasn't close enough to us. So. There we go. And then the Empire. Also going to make that you. Okay. So now. We're, we're still doing that. You're in another war. The Lapish Invasion of the Kingdom of Lapland. The Lapish Invasion of the Kingdom of Lapland. Oh, that's... Okay. How's your independence war going, by the way? Not, not good, huh? But you have taken war score. That's pretty good, because I think the war goal is the entirety of Britannia. Which is quite a lot. Yeah, so... They have war score. You you do have... Uh... Oh, wait, no. War score is... Oh, that's the other way around. Oh, my God. You have war score. Okay, I'm still at war of Kipchak. Uh, let's see how this election goes. Okay. Oh, I haven't even filled in all of these positions yet. Okay, back in here. Getting a little one step ahead of myself here. Uh, we can't lead armies currently. Is that a big problem for us? I don't think so currently. I think I would like some more dread, please. Do we have anything that would raise our stress quickly as well on this character? We're just. Okay. So we can use that. Chancellor, you. Steward, you. Uh, Marshal, you. Spy Master, you. Fantastic. What's this? Train for a tournament? Sure. I increase my prowess. That's fine. Celebrate other cultures. That seems like a great way to lower my income. Um, we need to marry. Find spouse. Uh, I need you to have a ton of intrigue. Yeah, marry uh, her. Cool. Seems good to me. Right, we can now also station some of our men at arms again. Like you. No, I actually can't station you because you're raised. I see. I could station them if they weren't raised. Okay, because I now have enough land to station them in. This is good. Okay. Uh, where are you? Where, where are you going? It seems to be suggesting that you're going. Let me try this again. Just want to see. Do you take the same route? Yep. For some reason, you get... Oh, you just... Oh, I see. Weird. That's... Okay. It's weird. Do we have anybody we have a hook on, by the way? Oh, we have 21 artifacts of low durability. Repair all of them as well. Okay. I think these are just just happens to be that we. Uh, I don't think anything's lowered the durability necessarily. I think it's just that these happen to have run out of durability. Is that because they're not equipped? No, they're equipped. It's fine. Also, apparently we need to do this. Sure, we'll be friends. Right. Um. Keep repairing. Keep repairing. Any more have we got? 12. Okay. That's fine. Keep repairing. Keep repairing. Keep them 
repaired. Repair them or repair. 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 Um. Repair. Repair. Okay. We happy? Right. I also need to raise control in Rome again because I kept burning it. That's fine. You can you can do that. Right. Where are we? Uh, back over here of our army. Okay. That's fine. Do I have a? I do not have an organizer at the top of my list. No. Okay. That's fine. Just want to see if we had one because it would help us quite a lot with moving around here. We'd really like Britannia not to lose their war. How are you doing in this war anyway in terms of like troop numbers? Not great. I guess you're just not sending anyone anywhere. Yeah, I don't even know how we would help in that one. Uh. Hmm. It's fine. Our wife might be cheating on us. That's not really like, you know, our problem given we married two seconds ago. It's like, yeah, she was sleeping with someone else before we were married. That's that's just not on. And our cult, and again, sorry, our religion again, it's not a problem either way. So it's like, okay, sure. Uh, what is like? Why are you telling me this? Okay. And where where are you going now? Okay, you're still going. That's fine. Want to make sure that it had a path forward. People are arriving with claims. My air keeps changing. Uh, how is the vote, or how are the votes for my grand, or my, my how are the votes for my nephew going? Ah, uh, not good. We've got twenty-four votes, which are all the votes that I can provide him. Luckily, it does seem like it's kind of split voting across the board, but anyway. Wait, Estonia is my vassal. I could just imprison her again and get a claim on her again. <laughs> or get a hook on her again. Yeah, Estonia. I'm sorry. Welcome back to prison. Um, You're in prison because I really need to get a hook on you. Thank you. You can leave prison again. Uh, have I got any quick ways to lower stress? Nope. I'm just going to take a stress hit. That's okay. We're fine with that. Thank you for the hook. We are now going to go back to the voting. We get 100 votes for our guy. We have 142 votes. That moves him up a little bit here. It changes who our heir is. Because we took enough votes away from someone else. Alright. We got anyone else with high votes who is actually like our vassal? This guy's he has got 41 votes. I think for people who are over 100. You might be my vassal. You're my vassal. Only 51% chance that I can imprison him, huh? We'll think about it. We'll think about it. I need to end this war. No, oh, before we do that. Uh, I d I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. Rumors about this. Yeah, I'll give you some money so I can control the narrative, I guess. Whatever this is. That's fine. Right. Uh, have we got any stress-lowering things? Also, is this just telling me I have a all my core artifacts? Yeah, that's all that was telling me. That's fine. Uh, meditate in seclusion. That might get me a trait. Lash out would lower my stress. Sure, well, we'll do that. That lowered my stress slightly. Worth it, but still, not ideal. Got anyone else we can imprison for free? That's the next thing to look at here. So now we're looking for, I should be, yeah, looking at vote score. You haven't got any high votes for you at all. That's the problem. You're 51. 85. Corellia? 100% for Corellia? I'll take you. Right. 
This is giving me tyranny, but that's okay. Nobody was voting uh, for us anyway. Thank you. Right, so now you can leave. Now you can leave for a hook. Wonderful. So just wait for that to go through. I now have my hook on Corellia. I can now use my hook on Corellia. Get us closer to uh, getting him in charge. Right, so that's another 85. We are now fifth. We're getting there. Anyone else? Curland. I can imprison you. It is stressful. It's an 88% though. Ah, <sighs> Yeah, luckily you don't need to worry about your stress going too high as long as you don't pick the option that kills you. As long as it doesn't act accidentally kill you. Yeah. It has been suggested in the past, by the way, that I disinherit people. My problem is I don't think that fixes the issue. I think these votes would just like all go to my cousin or something. Doesn't actually fix the full issue. Uh, I don't need you as a concubine. No. Right. Carry on a second or two. Well, I think having an event that lowers my stress would be good. Having this war with Corelli uh, or with Kipchak not happening would be great. Uh, so I could actually, you know, raise my troops for wars uh, that are like in my domain over at the other side. But anyway. Yeah, as soon as we can end this war, the better. Or the sooner we can end this particular war, the better. I really do need to get in charge of Britannia ASAP. I don't think they're, you know, they're going to lose their independence war. This is chaos. Absolute chaos. It's all gone downhill very quickly. Okay. That's okay. I mean... You know, we did set up this house of cards. The fact it fell down shouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> uh, I had to uh, not to Jessica cart. Sure, raise your taxes to me. That's fine. Head to here. Hey, we lost some stress. That's nice. We can now imprison someone without being too stressed again. Let's see if we can find somebody who's not that stressful to uh, imprison. You got 700 votes? Look how many like tiny votes he gets. Also, that doesn't add up to 700. I haven't even added them in my like properly in my head. That's not 700. It just doesn't it, 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 it doesn't make sense. That does not add up to 700. Anyway, maybe we need to reload the game so it will uh, pick up the actual values. Russia. 42. Uh, 20, just go in here, Bashkiria, 58, Vladimir, 99, I'll take a 99% chance of imprisoning somebody, let's see, right, perfect, we will now negotiate your release for a weak hook, we will now ransom you for a weak hook, Okay, that's fine. So now we can get Vladimir to vote for us. Gives us a little bit more. Another 41 votes. We're now at 290. We're getting there. We're just not getting there very quickly. Yeah, you're, you're one I want to imprison as well, but you're only at 29. Okay. Right. Move in here. Let's win this. And then... We'll see where we're at afterwards. Five days left. Taking it. Okay. Get up to Jaska Cart. When will you accept White Peace? In 26. Okay. Force Demands gets us 2,000 gold, but... Not overly worried about that. Also, did you see in Force Demands this value was changing? Somebody told me that this value was set when the war was declared. That is not the case. That is quite clearly changing. Yeah. Interesting. Um, 
Deep Sieging. It's a new cadet branch. Eight days left on this. Okay. Taking that one. To Kumbe. It's the next one for us to go to. White Peace, he will accept it after this siege. Okay. Needs one of these. There we go. Player Air can do that for now. Right. In here, what's this? Offer Concubine. No. Okay. And clear the list. A magnificent chest needs repaired. Okay. Our infinite money, um, like war chest, is kind of uh, emptying quite quickly. I'll take my white piece. Come on. Cool. Right. Disband. Uh, I don't want to become lovers with that person. So now, over here, we can go into, say, this one. Boat score. Now looking for you. Want to imprison you. Hold that land there. Okay, so. Raise my troops here. This again is getting us a lot of tyranny. That's kind of the main negative of what we're doing here. The people absolutely hate our guts, but uh, we're not trying to get them to vote for us. So that's not the end of the world if they hate our guts. Okay. Wait a few days for these troops to raise. They are not at all worried that I'm raising troops next to their capital. Okay. Uh, decline? Wait, Prussia would give me a vote? Wait a second. Uh, time in prison. I can get a hook on you. That doesn't matter. Um, just seeing who lieges are. So, oh, that's j you again. Your liege is Pinsk. He's not going to give you anything. Uh, Chernigov. 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 Okay, yes, yeah, so no one's giving me a hook. That's fine. You? In prison? Let's go. And. Well, that's a lot of troops. Uh, there's a lot of people who are unhappy at us and a lot of troops being raised. But that's okay. March our way in here. Well, our. Uh, their air can do that. Eight days left, then we can get here and kill his army. Right, go. Kill his army on spawn. Perfect. I just see Lithuania's army on spawn, but that's okay. Level of fame went up for winning that. We're also earning money for winning these. Right. Next one. Just keep uh, sieging as quickly as we can. Just win battle siege, win battle siege in whatever way gets us the most land in the shortest amount of time. Five days left. Okay. By the way, I just want to have a look at Britannia. It's... Oh, wait, look at that. Uh, war score from objectives. So this guy holds an objective. Therefore, he's getting the war score. That's great. Love to see it. Don't know how he's managing to hold on, but... We are basically rushing to catch up with him here. 96. Okay, head up here. One last siege should win us this, assuming nobody else sieges in between, which might happen. See? Also, wait a second. We get to imprison everybody, right? So we get all of their hooks. Perfect. Enforce demands. We now get to... We now imprison all of them. Yeah. Perfect. So you're the only one I initially wanted a hook on. That's fine. Next, sort by rank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get hooks on all of them. Charmeland, hook. You, hook. You, hook. You, 
Ook. Ook. This is what I needed to do. Just make people dislike me enough so I can get hooks on the entire realm in one fell swoop. Wonderful. It only gets me the kingdom level ones, but, you know, that's fine. And one duchy. Don't give me a hook anyway. You're not even within range, but give me a hook. Right. Disband our army. Everyone's now giving us hooks. They bring ruler lost war. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm back. Who lost what war? Uh oh, you lost a war. A holy war for the king the holy war for the kingdom of Germany. I forgot. So yeah, they now control that land as well. Okay, so. Bunch of favor hooks now got here. Is that enough to get us in charge? It's another 29. Uh it's probably worth I was thinking it's yeah, it's probably worth scrolling slowly here. So we're going to get a ton of votes. Okay. The moment we have the votes, we have to find a way to kill this character. But that's an achievable aim. Right. Keep forcing votes. Another nine. I'm actually kind of surprised we don't have the votes already, but that's okay. Uh, it's another 24. We must be close. We have no more votes to get. We're now at 674. That up to 674? Maybe. Okay. We need a few more votes, huh? <laughs> Just a few. Like, not even that many more votes. Yamatland, you're nine years of age. I can definitely imprison you. I can also apparently release my anger on people. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to imprison you. It's fine. I didn't even gain all my hooks, I just realized. That might have been a little bit premature. Empire. Uh, I'm fairly certain that guy is within the range, so we should have a vote. I don't think he had very many last time. There we go. That's an extra 20. Okay. So we are now only behind by, like, well, we're behind by less than 100. I am overwhelmed by stress, but we've already been at this stress level recently. Give me a hook. Permia. Uh, you as well. Give me a hook. Cool. That's fine. Cool. Uh, decline that one for now. Empire. Let's see if we can find these two, um, force votes. There's one. This is another... 18 votes. And then the other one should be fight 40. 45. We have our new heir. By the skin of our teeth, we have a new heir. Okay. Wonderful news. Now, what we need to do <laughs> is we need to raise our stress. Um, how do I... Okay, let's try it. Uh, I'm gonna go for the building. See if that works. Yes! Fantastic! Okay, we have died. Emperor Little is dead. Okay. His sacrifice was not in vain, though. The game is very unhappy at me for doing that. It is lagging a lot. There we go. So. Previously ruled for not very much time. 23 years, 19 months, 17 months, us. And now, we hold this. Now, the question is, how do I win this war? Uh, well, okay, let me just check something. 
What gives ticking war score in independence or CK3? What's the war target for an independence war? Uh... Ah, uh, so the enemy controls any part of my territory. So I guess temporarily they didn't. Okay. So I need to control parts of their territory. Where are my armies? Why are my armies individually in a pile here? There we go, right. Doomstack. That's fine. So that's in the War of Lapland. Okay. Interesting. Just seeing what situation we've been left in. Uh, white peace? Will not accept white peace. So enforce demands, they all, sorry, surrender, they all become independent. So this is horrible, right? This is truly, truly horrible. So what I need to do is raise my troops. I probably shouldn't have disbanded them after the war. But then I, yeah, okay. Let's get rid of some land and sort this out temporarily. So independence war is valid against us. So any way to in invalidate an independence war? Let me have a look at that. Invalidate independence war CK3. Can you do that? Uh. Yeah. Hmm. No, it doesn't seem like there's an easy way of doing it. Okay. So. That's the only faction one. We're also in the war for the Deccan de Jure War. Deccan de Jure War doesn't matter, right? That's for a single county. That doesn't matter. So it's only this one matters. We can raise our troops anywhere that is currently ours. So here would be good. So let's raise our troops here. I should also station my troops before raising them. There we go. Um, wait, are, the, are my siege units stationed? No. So 0 0.12. Wait, did you give away... No, no you didn't give away Novgorod. Why can I not station troops there? Solstice is not your domain. You gave away the... Anyway. <laughs> uh... Yeah, station troops. I guess Rome is, is what we're looking for here. Yeah, so station all of these guys in Rome. Get as many benefits as we can for stationing them in Rome. Uh, that's nice. They became much, much better because of all the stables and things. It's fine. I just want to do Varengian ones first over here in Perm. We actually probably have another one of these, right? Yeah, another 180. And actually then you can also station over here. Then we got three more and they can station over here for now in land that we hold over here. So in London. Uh, at Hampstead. And in Cold. Oh, in Bedford. There we go. Right. It's fine, we're losing a lot of money per month. Artifacts have low durability. Your realm will lose land if this person wins their war. Okay. If they inherit the Deccan Empire. They're not allowed to inherit the Deccan Empire. Oh, I guess maybe they are. Yeah, okay, that's fine. You can transfer this land to this person. Okay. That's fine. Cool. Well, we might as well finish this out while we're here. Uh... I, I'm not feeling confident because I don't know if we can raise our troops quick enough. That's kind of my main worry. If we can raise our troops, we can easily win. Okay, where's your land? Your land is, like, your land is here. So I would love to siege your land, but I might not be able to. I might be better off trying to find somebody who's revolting over here and sieging their land. Yes, okay. But my capital isn't there anymore. My capital is here, so... Let's see, um, people who are revolting, maybe that's it, or may, yeah, maybe here. 
So I kind of want to raise my I guess I do want to raise my troops here. We'll see how this goes. Actually, you know what? Actually, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. So create a second rally point next door. Raise all. Good. Uh, air, it doesn't matter. You. These don't matter. I need you to siege some land. Do you have any... You don't have any siege units, no. Alright, I want you to head to... This land down here and siege it. Actually, I want you to head to this land and siege it. Cool. How long we got? Seven months? Why is it taking seven months to raise your troops? Alright, cancel those. Let's try and find somewhere where it doesn't take seven months to raise our troops. We don't have seven months. Isle of Wight? Six months. Okay, cancel, cancel. Uh, men at arms. 27 days. Okay. I didn't mean to raise them like this. Okay, so the men at arms are raising at different times based upon where they currently are. I think, yeah. I think because they're spread out so much, they're raising at different times. I actually need to station them all over here. Or unstation them if I can. Are you even, you're not even able to unstation, are you? Okay, so now if I raise my troops, like here, click the button. Most of the, six months, 27 days, six months, okay. So go to the 27 days one. It's the most that we're getting and then raise all. Is that it? Wait, oh. Oh, I guess the uh, men at arms won't all raise at the same time. It's okay. You can stop um, tooting the horn right now if you would like to. Also, are we late Norse? I know the game is not responding to me right now, so that's fine. Come on. Zoom out. There we go. Yes, we are late Norse. This isn't even all loaded yet. Look at this. It's so slow in responding, it doesn't even load everything currently. Okay, I just want to zoom out so I'm not hearing the uh, horns go off. 24 days. Okay. I need one of these. There you go. Night's Night became idle. Uh... I would love there to be a night's night, but I can't find one. Oh, that hurts. That's going to be really bad. So we've lost a bunch of our bonuses that we've had all game. Okay. We just lost another 6% war score. Pause. I wonder if I kill the leader of the war. Uh, I think if I kill the leader of the war, it could invalidate. I just don't think it will. Validate. It is. Yeah. There's a chance if I kill her, the war will invalidate. I'm not allowed to murder her? Why not? Because I'm not at least 14 years old. Of course. I, for I forgot. My bad. Right. Uh. Let me just... Yeah, we could probably upgrade those, that's fine. The horns are continuing to go. Four months left on that one, ten days. Wait, we just gained 1% war score? We got taking war score! Why? <laughs> I wish I knew. First among advisors becomes idle. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. This is so unresponsive, like, here right now. Okay. Minus 90. Again. 
Oh, it's registering my click so slowly. Okay. Eight days left. Apparently this one is also eight days left. That's good. So we'll get the two eight days left ones together. Red Commission became idle. Also, while we're in here, let's just clear this. While well, I'm thinking about it, let's just clear this out. Oh, I want to replace all of these as well. Okay. 10,000 plus 8,000. Okay, so we got 18,000 troops. That's fine. Pause. Whenever you want to. Or just play the horn effect over and over again. That's fine. Right. Whenever you're ready. Still waiting for it to register the pause. Still waiting for it to register the pause. There we go. Right. So. Um. Cancel. Merge. Play the horn effect again. Cancel. Yeah, so all you guys get to the sea by the quickest means possible. Now, uh, raise all here. Okay. We'll see what we've got when they reach the sea. We're getting there. <laughs> Very slowly. It really is having a, a time here. I, it's something about you personally being in a war that makes the game just chug. Okay. We're still waiting on like days for us to get here. Like it's, it's it only takes like four days or something to actually embark. So, it's a little slow. Anyway. Vassal taken prisoner. We're getting taken war score. For reasons best known to the game itself. However, we really, really need to start sieging. Because otherwise, we're not going to be able to capitalize on that taken war score. Okay. Troops have... Got to boats. Okay. I'd like to merge these guys if I can. There we go. Merge. So we do have siege. Uh, we have our siege units. These guys will be here in six days. I'm almost like I can't wait six days, but I think I can. Right. Pause. Together, you're my best commander. Nope, you're a siege uh, guy. Okay, head to Colobre uh, Colobrezic. I think that's the best place to head to. We just see who's hostile to us here. We could also head to Iberia. That's the other one. So, how many days does it take you to get there? 36 days. How many days does it take you to get to Spain? Specifically to Leon. 51 days to get to here. Is that what it says even once it's calculated? 51 days, yeah. So Pomerania is your best bet. Okay, go. That's going to take you how many days? 35, okay. It's got like a month to get there. Okay, hopefully they don't get taking war score in this month. It's fine. They only had ticking war score now that I think about it for like the month where we first took over. So it could have been a bug, I suppose, that they had it in the first place. It'll take you six months to siege anything. Uh, I might want to just chuck. Well, I guess you start that siege and we'll. Well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, we'll, we'll just merge up our armies and doomstack. I think that's our only way through. I, I do, however, notice that my strategies do appear to be like, hmm, I should doomstack this. 
Um, this new situation, how should I deal with it? Have you considered a doom stack? They just got taken war score back? Nope. They just finished the siege. Okay. Land our troops. This should go down to like 20 days. Let's see. It's going to greatly uh, affect uh, how well this war goes. Eight days. That's pretty good. I'll take eight days. Win a siege. Lost another siege. We just won one. Did that give us 10% war score? Yes. Yes, it did. Alright. We, we, got, we got a way out of, here, out of this. Let's keep sieging. So now we just need to siege quicker than they can siege. Now currently this isn't an issue because we're surrounded by land that we can siege. It is going to become an issue if taking all of Pomerania doesn't get us to, to a, a white piece, but... You know. See, this said our level of splendor went up. Wait. Uh, is that just saying we reached the... Oh no, we're now legendary. Is that saying we just reached this, maybe? Huh. Did we somehow lower it? I'm sure we must have hit that ages ago. Anyway. Clear that out. We lost stress. That's good. How old are we? 14. Okay. Don't even know what our education is. Don't know what our educators are like. It's not relevant information right now. Relevant information is can we win this war? To which the answer is maybe. As long as we can keep... as You know what? As long as we can keep war score balanced, right? As long as we have ticking war score, we will win the war. Right? As long as we can siege at the exact same pace that they can siege, we will win the war. And we're, at, we're actually sieging quicker. And they're not in a position to contest us sieging this land as well. Which is great. Okay. I think we need to get down to 30 war score as well. I just double check that. 30 war score. Long war. We we'll need to get to 20 war score. Okay. Next one. This is also going to, I believe, imprison half of our uh, vassals at the end of the war if we do a, uh, if we were to enforce demands. That's worth thinking about, actually. I mean, even if we do white peace, it will give us a reason to the uh, to imprison our vassals. That, that is an intriguing thought. Yeah, that, that's something we could use. I would like to have the auto in prison, but, you know. We'll see what we can do. Deccan Empire, by the way, I'm 100% happy to, to just peep. Uh, like, you know, they can have the land. That does not bother me. Say it, same with Lapland. Uh, wait, wait. Why is Lapland even in a war with me? You're my vassal. Wait a second. Do you become independent? No. Oh, then I really don't care. All you're doing is sorting your borders for me. Okay. Yeah, so Lapland, I really don't care. Because I get to keep the land either way. So that, that one just does not matter. Okay. Next piece of land. Uh, is that... That's not hot. That's land that they've sieged from us. Yeah. No, occupied by me. Oh. Okay. It's fine. Siege this. Got another four uh, castles here, which will be good. Then we need to figure out the next place to go, but... We're getting there. Bit at a time. We're only minus 70 now. Plus 30 from taking war score, which means that even if taking war score goes away, they'll get 48, but they still won't have enough to actually win currently. Yeah, because I was thinking if taking war score switch, switches the other way, they had like plus 18. So I was doing 30 plus 18, 48, so they'd get like 48 uh, war score back, which means that we still would not equal 100, which means the war would continue. I'm not going to imprison people. Right, next one. I set this up, right? No. That's fine. Doesn't matter. They're, they seem fine. I was just 
double checking whether I actually did that or whether they were just set when I got here. Something I need to do. Okay. Eight days left. What's, what's the um, Ukonusko uh, populists? Okay. I'm saying, what, what's the other faction? It's not something I need to worry about. Okay. It looks like we gained no war score, but I think that's because they won a siege at the same time. Unless we're capped. The cap is 150%. We are not capped. Okay. It's fine. Next siege. Okay. Uh, and we won't actually... It won't, yeah. That won't matter unless they siege enough to get to... Yeah, they're already at their cap for occupied holdings. So the only way they can gain war score is by getting rid of taking war score or beating us in a battle. And if we never engage in a battle, they can never gain war score. Yeah. Perfect. This is actually like a winnable war with them having 600,000 troops. I gotta be honest, I was feeling pretty negative um, earlier this episode. I was like, this is terrible. This is now achieve. This is very achievable. This is not that bad. <laughs> Which is not where I thought we would be when we didn't even hold any land. Yeah. I was not thinking this was good. <laughs> okay. Now, we do have to walk to our next destination, which is not great. However, remember, they cannot gain war score right now. The only way they can gain war score is by sieging our land. I think maybe their taking war score is that they have to hold a piece of our domain land. I get the feeling that might be why, where they get taking war score. Uh, I don't know. Or maybe none of their land is sieged. Either way, that's not the case, so that's fine. Flame throne. My vassal has claimed the throne. Wonderful. Wonderful. Nice thing is, if we can win this war, the faction will go away as well. Because we'll go back up to our... You know. Uh, we will go back up to our um, actual strength. Which will then make them recalculate how strong they are, which will then kill the faction. So, literally, all we have to do to win the... Uh, like, to solve all of our issues is win this war. Which is siege these, like, three provinces. Okay. Getting there. Eight days away. Game is still a little slow. It's okay. Uh, I don't like that it said uh, this was under siege. That implies that they're over he here sieging. Hmm. Okay, anyway. It's fine. Keep heading north to the easily siegeable lands. Hopefully I still have a claim, by the way, on this, on Novgorod. Because if I don't, then that's going to be very annoying, given the how upgraded that province is. I guess we just revoke it, right? Yeah, I guess if we don't have a claim, we just revoke it. Look how long it's taken us to siege this land. You can tell we had, like, this was in our land in in our um, control early as in this part of the world because it's actually upgraded <laughs> uh, right Rome will lose land if they inherit yeah I see all of these are true artifacts need repaired okay I'm just gonna repair these so I can clear out our list slightly old boar hide repair oxus bracelet repair right fine. And we haven't quite won this yet. We are a little low on income. That's a while I'm noticing. We could hit the ransom button. That's a good way to generate income. Yeah, that is a very good way to generate income. Okay. Head up to Parnu. Cool. Got us another couple thousand. Level of fame just went up, which is good. So that gets us some opinion with people. 
Uh, we're still 14. We still have a region and things, which is not ideal, but that's fine. We're, we're at zero. We got to zero. White Peace is only 17 away. I think this siege might get us White Peace. Invalidated. All right, that's fine. Wasn't this war, but invalidated anyway. Okay, seven days left, six days left, five days left, four days. Is worth enough? 12, we need one more. I don't think we're gonna siege this before we get there, but that's okay. Yeah, long war is now plus 13. We only need four extra war score. Okay. And once it gets us moving again, we might get to siege this actually. I forgot that um, you only you don't get uh, ticks as quickly. We might be okay here. Ten days left. Scheme at court. We lost another siege. It still doesn't matter. Still is not uh, eligible for anything. Also, I just realized we can't really enforce demands on this war because we're going to hit our siege cap before we get to enforce demands. So we'd have to win a battle. So yeah, white peace is the only option in this war. For us, right? Because obviously we're not going to win enough battles to defeat that army. Um, yeah, and we, we would hit our... Let me just confirm. So we... Yeah, we only have 23% extra. I guess we would get taking war score, so we'd get 23% and then sit for like a couple years, but no, I think we would run out of money. Let's offer white piece. Cool. Zoom out, and... This is going to look a lot better in a second. So all of that is now peaceful. Good. So we have the Deccan Empire, who want a single piece of land, and we have Lapland, who want their own land. <laughs> Which, to be honest, is they won't become independent. So, according to this, they shouldn't become independent. So I don't really care. This doesn't matter. Right? Yeah, this shouldn't matter. Alright, I'm going to save here. And I'm going to surrender the Lapland. Well, uh, I don't know. We might storm next time. I think I might surrender the Lapland war and then peace out of the uh, other one. But let's save it here anyway. Yeah. Uh, Deccan Empire. Do I want to continue the war with you? What do I get if I win? 11,000. I just don't know if I can afford to keep my army up that long. And, and all you want is a single piece of land? Oh no, you want a couple of counties. Uh, oh yeah, you want that land and that land. Oh, and then that bit at the bottom as well. I'll think about it. Uh, you don't have taken war score currently, and then you... Yeah, you only want this land. I'm just going to test this, right? What happens if I surrender. Because we've already saved. So what happens if I click surrender? They keep their they just keep the land. Alright, well I'm happy with that. That's that's I'm A okay with that. They can keep the land that they already have. Okay, cool. So now it's just us versus the Deccan Empire. Also, I forgot we have some troops here. So what what didn't raise from the uh, men at arms? Oh, it was one night? That was who we were waiting six months on, was one night. Oh, okay. You can't disband? Oh, okay, that's probably because we've, um, yeah. That is probably because we haven't unpaused since the uh, war ended. Anyway, this is a point. Oh, one other thing to do. Can I destroy this? Can I destroy your primary title? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I destroy this? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so first of all, make this my primary title. That's better. Second of all, delete this. Right. So, <laughs> that that's better. 
That's much better. So we have, in this episode, achieved the Britannia objective. We need to do vassal management, but we now have a reason to imprison a bunch of people. We're going to have to do management next time anyway to sort out everything that's gone wrong. Uh, we need to get the Deccan Empire War done. And then we'll think about where we're at. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Apologies there wasn't an episode yesterday as well. But hopefully this episode, which is very, very long, has made up for it. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.